Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in this video, I have a network update for you guys from AT&T. And I think this is a big one. And this is more of an implication that AT&T is really pushing their network to that next level. So before the first net rollout started, many people were questioning is AT&T going to expand the network outside of the current footprint that it was at that time? And that was a discussion for for many, many months to follow. A lot of people thought they were just going to lay over the sites at band 14, call it a day. But now we can say with certainty that is not the case. They are 100 percent expanding that footprint outside of what it used to be. And it's growing bigger every day. So recently, AT&T boasts network speeds for Estes Park. That is the Rocky Mountain National Park in, uh, in Colorado. And this is a big deal. I'll leave this in the description down below so you can check it out in its entirety. But this is a big deal. A lot of people talk about rural coverage and just coverage in general. What's my over, overall coverage going to be like if I switch to another provider? A lot of people have that question with T-Mobile. They test drive T-Mobile. They're like, yeah, it works. It gets the job done where I'm located. But what is the overall coverage if I ever travel? Some people do travel two, three times a year. They go on vacations. So that for a lot of people is important, especially at places at remote places like the uh, Rocky Mountain National Park. A lot of people that go there, they expect some kind of service. And from the AT&T perspective, being that they are the network for the first responders, it's even more important for them to have services there. And with this, it shows you they are very much capable of doing so, which, of course, they, they're doing that. They're investing money in it. And it's really just now a matter of time for them to get everywhere. I, I, I let you guys know by next year, April, they want to be 100 percent native. They don't want to rely on roaming anymore. So they're filling in the spots where there was previous roaming coverage. They're filling that up now with the, with their native coverage. And then everything else, they're expanding into like national parks like this because there could be a, a an emergency that could happen there. And, you know, at and being the first responders network, they want to, of course, have the agencies on their network, but they can't do so if they don't have the service. So they got to build the service. And that's exactly what they're demonstrating with this. I'm positive that there's many more of these scenarios that are coming where at t will push services out to all these areas. Does Verizon and T-Mobile have services service at this park? I'd have to do some research and check it out. But my guess is T-Mobile, eh, maybe not. Verizon likely will have service there. And we now know at t has service at the uh, National Park. So in the comment section down below, let me know how you feel about this. Is this something important to you to where you have to have services as all, as, at all the vacation spots? I know there are some that are so remote that nobody has service there, but even those are getting less and less and less with AT&T pushing for first responders. And then, of course, Verizon competing for for those agencies as well. If you have been on the channel or you're new to the channel and you have not yet liked, shared, subscribed, make sure you do so. Hit that notification bell so you are notified when I do upload content. Make sure to follow my social media outlets for more updates and interactions. Thanks again for watching. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.